Hey, hi guys, this is Bakapa Chincholikar. Welcome back to session on entire questions and answers. So let us jump to the today's uh, interview question. So what are the challenges you faced in Selenium Automation? So this is a question in every interview you will be facing this kind of questions. So let us discuss what are the points you need to explain in the interview. So first point I have uh, handling uh, duplicate elements on the web page. So every time when you mention it as a challenge at the same time you need to mention it as a how you resolve that uh, I mean how you overcome that particular challenge. So I have a first point handling duplicate element on the web page. So this is the one of the challenge. So how you overcome this uh, particular uh, challenges by writing the different types of xpath you can overcome this particular challenge and uh, in the same way you can write uh, css selectors or xpath the i have a second point handling dynamically changing element on the web page so this particular challenge can be overcome by using the by writing xpath or css selectors so next point i have handling uh, alerts or pop-ups so you'll be facing so many issues like you are switching to the particular pop-up or windows based pop-up or web based pop-ups so basically for handling a uh, web based pop-up we need to use a inbuilt uh, alert interface and we need to perform the action but sometimes it will be tricky for windows based pop-up you need to use the third party tools like auto it or a robot framework so next point i have multiple windows or child windows when you are dealing with only two windows that will be fine so when you are dealing with the more than three windows that time it is very important to store the each <coughs> sorry guys so it is very important to store the each session ids so based on the session IDs, you can navigate to the particular window and you can perform the action on the that particular web page. So next challenge I have. So you can explain uh, dynamic web table handling. So sometimes what happens based on the data entering in the some other web page. So data will be populated in some other different web page that is that is that's the same thing you are testing like in that scenario so you'll be it's very difficult to identify the web element so that can be overcome this particular challenge can be overcome by using a by using or by writing the different x paths or css locators there are many types of x paths you can write it based on the child child or parent descendant ancestors following keyword and preceding keywords and you can sometimes you can uh, use a contains keyword and you, you can write the x path to find a previous element or a next element based on the tag names so next point is iframes within iframes so this is this is the one of the challenge so basically when element is exist within iframe so you need to properly switch to the particular iframes based on the iframe name or a index so this problem this particular challenge can be overcome by using the driver dot switch to dot iframe you need to switch to the first parent iframe then sub iframes so next point you can explain about like executing scripts on ie browser this this is a one of the challenge you will be facing because same script will be working in ie bro sorry chrome browser but if you execute same script on ie browser it will not work so this particular challenge can be overcome by you can write uh, 
different xpath or a you can you need to just uh, write a different locator for that to identify the particular web element and there will be uh, some synchronization issues that can be overcome by writing a implicit weight and explicit weight methods so next challenge we have you can explain like when we are uploading and downloading the files so basically this particular challenge can be overcome by using the auto it tool or you can use the robot framework so next challenge you can explain in the selenium interview is creating the object repository so in selenium we will not get any by default object repository you need to create your own object repository by creating the page object model design pattern and all so next challenge you can explain reporting mechanism in selenium it is not it is you can say it is not a challenge but when you are developing a particular framework so in selenium there will be a no reporting mechanism selenium will not provide you any reporting mechanism so you need to develop a particular reporting mechanism for example extent report something like that so next challenge you can explain in the interview is send keys click or etc some action will be not working on the web page so this particular challenge how you overcome is by using the ijavascript executor that particular ijavascript executor will be gives you the set of inbuilt arguments based on the arguments you can perform the action on the web page so it depends on the web page that we had that you are going to test it so this can be the one of the challenge you will be facing in the web page while performing the actions so next challenge i have is ajax calls in the web page that time you will be getting no such a element found exception because until and unless you are performing some say for example you are trying to find any web element directly on the web page that time you will get no such a element found exception why because you need to perform some action like you need to enter some say for example you are trying to click on some button so that will be not at all enabled so you need to provide the synchronization that is the very first step or else you can click on any of the web element before clicking on that particular button or something so this can be the one of the challenge you faced while uh, writing automation scripts and final challenge i have in uh, selenium automation is null pointer exception so most of the times you will get this kind of exception when you are passing test data from the excel or when you are uh, not properly assigning the test data to the particular variables so that's all i have in this session if you have any questions please click please comment in the comment section of this below video thank you thank you so much for watching session on interview questions and answers